Hey everybody, Sergeant Pope here. We're with Goosey over there, just staring at me. And the map over there, helping me out in this video to tell you guys how to install a wireless router to, uh, to I guess, your home and to your modem. Because the modem will also have to, you know, bring the internet to your router. So I guess two things you'll need. Uh, modem, uh, usually cable or phone company will give you that. So if they didn't, bitch hit them. <laughs> And get that shit for yourself. Because you need that. Without that, you don't have internet at all. And obviously, I guess you have to pay for the internet. What? You have to pay for th stuff in life? That's crazy. Yeah, so, uh... I guess so you have to do those two things. And you have to get a wireless router. Uh, Cisco makes... Uh, they have their Linksys brand of uh, routers. Uh, they're pretty high quality and not too expensive either. Uh, they also, um, there's also brands like Netgear... Uh, shit, there's a lot of brands of routers out there. So, I guess, just take your pickin'. I like Linksys, because I've always had great luck with them. But, what have you guys pick? So, I guess, we'll just look at my, um, at my modem for reference. Your modem will probably be different. Uh, this is one that Mediacom gave me, so, yeah. Uh, I guess if you have, if, uh, if you have home in your house, and you get that from your cable... A lot of times, the phone will go through the modem as well. We don't have phone from our cable company. So it's just internet on this motherfucker. So I guess you have to make the cable to the uh, to the modem. Usually the cable company will set that up for you, though, at least. Usually they'll set up your modem, but they won't set up your router because they're like, Oh no, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. So we'll do it together. So yeah, obviously, they'll probably hook that up. They'll probably give you an Ethernet cord, too. It just depends... If they be bitches or not, I guess you have to hook up the power, which I guess I can go ahead and hook up the power. I don't know why. I didn't really have it hooked up. So, yeah, that's, that's not too big of a deal, I guess. Pretty much everybody knows how to do that. And then uh, there's also Ethernet port and a USB port. I don't really know what you do with that USB port, to be honest. But uh, I just leave it alone because all you really need is that Ethernet port right there. So, uh, if your cable company didn't give you a, an Ethernet cord, um, usually they'll come with a router. And uh, if they don't come with the router, they're pretty cheap. So, <laughs> just plug that shit in there. My cat is rubbing it against my legs because he's like, man, pet me. I'm like, man, I'm making a video. So, uh, back to this whole shiznizzle. On the wireless router, pretty much the only thing you have to hook up is the power. See that one right there? Just... There's the power cord right here. That's pretty simple. Just plug that shit in, and then uh, that yellow one right there. Usually, it'll it'll, clear, it'll usually clearly mark it as internet. My camera won't focus because it's a bitch, but it says internet on there. So you plug it into that one. Don't plug it into the other four. That is for like your computer, your Xbox, PS3. But you plug the internet from the modem. See that blue one right there? Plug that shit into that yellow port right there. Um, if you're not going to be using any wired connections, that's a, that's the only connection you have to really do to the router. If you're just doing wireless in the whole house. If you do want to do wired connection, which usually gives you a little bit faster connection, then use those four ports. So yeah, I'll go ahead and hook up the router. This is not going to be this hard with whenever you guys do it, by the way. Because you guys are not going to be holding a camera and videotaping yourself like a dumbass like me. And then I'll just go ahead and... Squirm that uh, power cord under all these wires. So yeah, if you're not holding a fucking camera like me, uh, then th th this job's pretty easy. Uh, yeah, I mean, really all you have to do is plug them both in, and then plug the Ethernet cord to link both of them, and then it should be sitting aware of the signal. Now, um, since uh, I've already... Goose. What the fuck? <laughs> If you guys have cats, you guys know my pain. Keeps rubbing up against my fucking legs while I'm trying to work. So, yeah. We'll go over to the computer and um, I'll show you guys what to do next, at least with the E1200. It's a little bit different on other routers. They have different setups and everything, but uh, we'll check out this one. Okay, now I'm at my computer and uh, I probably could uh, go ahead and do fraps in this, but my fraps isn't working. 
So we'll just do this from the camera, because I don't give a shit. <laughs> Sorry guys. So, yeah, usually your router will come with a setup disc. And uh, I think even wireless adapters usually come with this too. The one that uh, the setup disc that Linksys provides is really, really good. Like, if you have no idea how to set up a wireless router, uh, beyond that part. You know, we already did that part, uh, the actual physical installation. But if you don't know what to do on the software side of things, this disc will really tell you guys what to do. It's really simple, it's really helpful. Yeah, so if I put that disc in my computer, it's, 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 nothing's really going to happen. But go through the disc that it gives you. usually has very, very nice step-by-step -step instructions. And uh, it'll usually get you up and going for the most part. Now, once you do all those steps and everything, I'll just check your own. Obviously, it might connect to your thing automatically. Look, mine's called Goose's Interweb. <laughs> That's my fucking cat. But, uh, yeah, just can if it doesn't automatically connect to it, connect to the one that you named. Once you connect to your internet that you named to that setup disk, then open up your browser. Yeah, and I know, I... This could be so much better if I use Fraps, but once I built my custom PC, Fraps just doesn't work, and so... Sorry, guys! So, yeah. Up on the URL, type in 192.168.1.1. I'll go ahead and do that, and it'll bring up some shiznizzle. So once you do that, on, on a lot of routers, they'll have a username and password. Usually the setup disk will actually go through that. Uh, if it didn't on yours, I know on, on a lot of Linksys routers, the default password is admin, A-D-M-I-N, so go ahead and try that. Or if on the setup disk it went through all that stuff with you, just put in uh, what you initially uh, put into the setup disk. Then you just go over to login. And this is Linksys. Uh, this is their whole router setup page. Usually... There's like a few basic things you have to do to get to, uh, to make sure people don't hack into your internet and you know cause a bunch of problems and shit. First off, what you want to do, what I what I always do is go to wireless and then wireless security. You always oh look at that. Okay, I'm I'm gonna block that out, but that's my password. <laughs> yeah, so um, you always want to have uh, a password on your internet. So, whenever people, people be getting on that shit, you know, you don't want people who could be out to cause problems with the internet, because you can get in trouble pretty fast with the internet. <laughs> so, there's, di there's a bunch of different types of security. The newest one is WPA2, and uh, you have to use WPA2 or WPA, uh, just the original one, if you want to use wireless N, which is why I'm using that. Uh, a pretty simple one is WP, but that only works through wireless G, which is a little bit slower. There's, you know, plenty of them to choose from. So just go ahead and choose yours and then get yourself a password. So yeah, that's about it. I guess beyond that, you can open up some ports to make uh, gaming a little bit easier. Or not, or not a little bit easier, but like... I don't know, if, if you guys are on Xbox or PS3, uh, there's a lot of, you know, NAT issue things you can uh, you can come across. Uh, by, but you can open up the ports, go to Applications and Gaming to open up the ports, and then, you know, you just put in all those ports. Uh, not gonna lie, uh, opening up ports on Linksys is a pain in the ass. So keep that in mind, it's really a bitch, it sucks. I don't know, it, it never works for me, but shit, I don't know. So that's basically all you need to know on that. There's definitely a few more tabs, Setup Wireless Security, Access Policy, uh, Applications and Gaming, Administration, and Status. So there's definitely some more things to do, but that's really all you need to do to get on there, make sure your internet's secure, and just get you up and going at a pretty fast speed and everything. So thanks for watching this video guys, uh, it was a little bit jumbled around, but hopefully my editing helped it out a little bit. And uh, if you guys need a little bit more help, be sure to comment below, you know, I got no problem helping you guys out. 
So, thanks for watching this video, guys. If, uh, you know, if you want to drop a like on the video, that'd be nice. You don't have to, but, uh, would be pretty nice of you. So, see you guys later. Say bye, Goose. Say bye, buddy. Say bye. Okay. See you.